Hi everyone, my name is John Meyer, aka the AWS Blogger. Now I'd like to show you Video Ninja, aka OBS Ninja, specifically the scenes. Now the reason that I want to do this is I've had a lot of questions around it, and I'm hoping to give you a lot of information in this quick tutorial. Let's do it. What I have on my screen is Video Ninja. For the director panel, I'm going to open it up. I also have OBS running on my Mac. Let's create our room and get started. Test. One, two, three, four. Sounds great. I'm not going to put a password. I'm going to customize my links, show display names, and ask for it, and I'll close that. Let's, uh, I'm going to add th four users here, and the reason I'll do four is so you can really see how things come together. Copy this link. Add our user. This will be John1. Share my camera and no audio. I'll do this four times and then restart the video so we can get started and make this quick and simple. Okay, I have four users added to this control panel for our conferencing that we're going to be discussing. John 1, 2, 3, and a customized one that will show you how it's done. Within the control room, you can see all four of us, and I'm going to expand the more scene selection. Now, one of the things that's set by default is capture a group scene, auto add guests. I can copy this link, come into my main scene, and then we'll just add a browser source. And this will be the group, and drop it in here. And I'm going to do a little and show label so everyone can see that who the users are. 1920 by 1080. Right. And you can do the audio. I have no audio on this. I don't want any back feed. All right. Perfect. I have all my users showing. And I know this is a lot of Johns that you're seeing on the screen, but it is for testing purposes. Typically, what happens in like OBS, you can add individualized scenes. And I'll show you that here in scene one, where if I go into scene one, I click on each one. Here's a solo link that I copied and I add a browser source and I'm just going to say this is John 1. And the reason I'm going to add these all kind of now is that we'll utilize them throughout the rest of it. Um, we can do, you know what, 1920 by 1080 and I'll resize all the uh, windows so that it comes into it. And we'll just add this as another browser source. John 2, and here's the link for John 2. I'll pause the video, add all four of these so you can see the end results. All right, so I have all four of them added to the same, uh, to scene one. And if you notice that it really looks, I, I can't get everything lined up, it's a little difficult. But if I switch back to my main scene, look how nice and uh, automatically sized it is for the environment. It looks really nice and clean and come to scene one. But what if I don't want all four of us in scene one? What I can do is if you click come back here to the director panel, you copy the link for the group. If you add another browser source, and I'll add this one as scene one, Drop it in here. Don't forget to do and show label so we can see who's added. Do 1080. Let's do that and we'll just let it come over the top. All right. So now that we have this over the top because it's perfectly lined up and I can turn all of these off. But we have scene one. In here, I'm going to say and scene one. All right, just, just follow along as we're going to get to this one. All right, we have our scene one. Oh, nobody's there. Where did they go? Remember, I dropped the default scene into the environment, and which is everybody's added to the group scene, which you can see as a user logged in right here. All right, so back on the control room, say I want to add John 1, 2, and 3 to this scene. Click on Add to Scene 1. Bam, right there. Everybody's added nice and proportionately sized. You don't have to switch it around. But you're like, oh, John, John, I, I've got 
an Elgato Stream Deck. I can do this myself by adding all these individual ones resizing and doing it. Guess what? I have an Elgato Stream Deck too. I actually added some of the scenes to the environment to test it out. Uh, we can switch over here. Here's the main scene. Here's scene one. Here's what it looked like before if I wanted to add one, two, and three to the environment and I'll disable scene one. Well, they're very... It, now I gotta move oh, this over here and resize it to fit the environment. Uh, you can put all kinds of things if you're utilizing the OBS. That's the power of the scene environment. And you're like, okay, so what about the other scenes? Guess what? Let's come to scene two. I'm going to add one in here to the scene two as a browser source. Scene two. We'll add this environment and we'll copy the link. Do not forget to change it to say and scene two. And show labels because we want to see who these people are. By 1080 and I'll do my custom controls. All right. Well, John, nobody's there. Well, guess what? I can also say, you know what? I want this John, the custom one, to scene two, but I would like just John three to scene two. Maybe I'm switching back and forth and I want to remove John, you know, one and John three to the scene. So I'm going to drop that out. John one will be custom and now John three. And I can add them and these, these can be set and running the entire time. So when you're utilizing maybe an Elgato and I'm coming back to scene one in the environment and we'll turn this guy back on, you're only switching between them. So you can quickly switch and it's automatically resized and you're ready for the environment. Oh, well, wait a second, John, what, what do you mean? Well, maybe you wanna just leave everything in one scene, one environment but disable one of the sources. You can have it sit there in, uh, you know, all these sources lined up and just disable it. But wait, there's more. Let's come back and do a customized scene. What do you mean customized scene? So we'll take this, go down to our customize, copy this link. I'll add another source as the browser. I'll just say, uh, you know what? I actually have one here that says customize. So let's come here and let's add that back. Let's come back. Browser, add existing, customize. All right, and we'll change this to that. And I'll say equals John, hold it lower, John test source. All right, now look in the OBS director or uh, the Video Ninja director. I have a scene here that says John test source. Maybe I'll only want John 2 as part of it and John Custom as part of it. Now they're side by side, or I want to throw that, um, you know, John 3 in there. You can have your own custom scenes. All these are available for you from scene, you know, up to seven as a default, but additional scenes drop down below. All right, folks, that's it for your custom tutorial for Video Ninja on utilizing the scene functionality. I hope you liked the video. Until next time.